Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I have a super exciting vlog planned. So yesterday I was just scrolling on TikTok as you do, came across this girl's video and she showed herself going to this really big book warehouse. I have never seen so many books in one place in my life. It was bigger than any bookstore I've ever seen. It was basically like a really, really big library. All the books are 70% off because it's like an outlet. So I was like, this looks so cool. I need to know where this is. If I'm ever in the area where this book warehouse is, maybe I can stop by and make it like a bucket list thing one day. It looks so cool. And then at the end when she revealed the location, Location, it is actually 30 minutes from my house. I'm like, how have I never heard of this place before? So when I looked it up, I found out they're only open to the public like once a month. They have these huge 70% off weekend sales. And this weekend just so happens to be the weekend that they're open and they're having their sale. So I found that TikTok at the perfect time. That's where I'm gonna be taking you guys with me today. I am so excited. I hope I find tons of great books there. Of course, when I get back, I'll do a little haul and show you guys everything that I pick up, but I can't wait, let's get going. I am so excited to check out this book warehouse. Okay guys, we are back from the book warehouse. It honestly wasn't exactly how I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would be more organized, kind of like a bookstore where everything is sorted by genre and then by author, but it really was set up more like a thrift store where you have to hunt and dig to find the hidden gems. But I did come away with five books and I got all five of these for $28. I feel like you could buy one nice hardcover at Barnes for that much. So I'd say it was a successful trip. The first book I got, I am so excited. I found this one there. This is A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman. Frederick Bachman is an author that I've always wanted to read from. I have several books of his on my TBR and I just hear the best things about all of his books. This one is about this grumpy old man. He's kind of like a Scrooge type character and he has this unlike likely friendship that he forms with his next door neighbors that move in. I've also heard this one's on the more sad and emotional side as well. I know this one also recently got adapted into a movie starring Tom Hanks. And does it bother anyone else that they changed his name from Uva to Otto? I don't get it, it bothers me. But yeah, I can't wait to read this one and then watch the film adaptation. I next picked up a little British rom-com. This is called Two Doors Away by L. Spellman. I've never seen this book before today. I've never heard anyone talk Talk about it but that kind of intrigues me because I feel like the majority of books that I read I get recommended to me by someone else or I hear about them all over the book community the book social media space so I kind of like the idea of discovering something on my own and who knows maybe it could be a hidden gem from reading the back it sounds like this is about our two main characters Eric and Steph and they live on the same street their neighbor that lives in between them always plays the piano and it's kind of a comfort for them to hear the piano being played through the wall and then all of a sudden the music has stopped and they are brought together by their mutual concern trying to figure out what happened to their neighbor and I think they form a connection from there so it just sounds like a sweet little British rom-com and these cutie little cartoon covers always suck me in I next picked up The Magician's Daughter by H.G. Perry I feel like this is what I've seen on book talk before but then when I went on Goodreads no one that I follow or that I'm friends with has this marked as like a TV book or they read it before so maybe I just saw this in passing and it just caught my eye again but it is a historical fantasy I'm not sure if it's YA or not but the first thing that got me when I picked it up is the back says that it takes place off the coast of Ireland if you know me I 
love books set in Ireland. I think this one's about a girl who was raised by a magician and then all of a sudden the magic in the world is gone so she has to try to bring it back. I am definitely trying to get in my fantasy era. This one kind of gives me spring vibes with like the bunny and the flowers on the cover so I might save it for then. The next book I picked up is Kai Kei. Please correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This is one of those synopsises that every time I read it I feel like I get more confused on what it's about. I know it's a retelling. I'm just going to trust the booktubers that I've seen rate this book so highly. I've seen a few booktubers say that this is one of their favorite books of all time and make it their favorite book of the year in the year they read it. Definitely going to trust the booktube recommendations on this one and excited to give it a try at some point. The last book I was super excited to find. This thriller has been on my TBR for a few years now. This is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Torre. This one is about this girl who has impulsive thoughts of wanting to unalive other people. So she has to keep herself holed away and locked in her apartment. She cannot leave at all. So in order to make money, she is a cam girl. And then this is the story of what ends up happening when she finally leaves her apartment three years later. And the back sounds so intriguing. It says, my life is simple as long as I follow the rules. One, don't leave the apartment. Two, never let anyone in. Three, don't kill anyone. So I'm kind of scared, but also intrigued. I have read from A.R. Torre before and I'm excited to read more from her again. That's going to conclude the haul. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed following me along on my book shopping journey today at the book warehouse. Let me know if you've read any of the books that I picked up and I will see you guys so soon in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.